What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and today we are diving back into the film room to take a look at NC State linebacker Peyton Wilson, what his skill set looks like, where he projects best, and if he is one of the top linebackers in the 2024 NFL Draft. Now, Peyton Wilson listed at 6'3 and 7'8", 233 pounds, a dominant combine performance, a 988 RAS. Obviously, you know, the 40 was probably the most impressive, right? You, just, you saw the straight line speed there. But the shuttle and cone times in the 89th and 95th percentiles, really, really impressive. Overall, a really strong performance there that helped elevate him in the eyes of draft media. 2023, dominant season, 92 tackles, 22 pressures, 6 sacks, a 4.7% missed tackle rate. Really, really good number there. And just a 47.2 passer rating when targeted. Racked up 3 interceptions and 3 pass breakups. So now let's go to the film room to take a look at where Wilson thrives and where he needs to improve. All right, guys, here we're going to the film. I'm taking a look at Peyton Wilson. I think the first thing to note with Wilson is some of his alignment uh, in 2023 where, you know, he's playing more of outside linebacker, Jack linebacker for NC State. And, you know, that allowed him to do a lot of different things, right? He can drop into coverage and make some plays, get his eyes on the field. He can take on blocks and collisions there with offensive linemen. Same thing here against Clemson where he's he's dropping into coverage and really getting his eyes on on the entire field to make plays. And of course, down here against Miami, they would send him on, on blitzes to affect the quarterback. Now, Peyton Wilson, what can he do in the run game? I think there's plenty that he can do. This is one of the best examples of getting off a block and, and shedding. He gets good position with his hands. He does a nice job shedding there at the point of attack to potentially make a play. Obviously, he was... Not the first guy to get contact on the running back, but that ability to get off blocks, and same thing here against Louisville, where this this skill set to, to be a block deconstructor at linebacker is so crucial if you want to play Mike linebacker in the NFL. Again, decent positioning. I like how he fights, and he fights to get off this block against the Duke offensive lineman. That, to me, signals that, that he has the temperament and the mentality to want to defeat blocks in the run game. Now, for the most part, when he's kept free, he makes a lot of plays right here, stays tight uh, to the offensive lineman, dips underneath, and then gets hands on the running back quickly. Like you're going to see a lot of that with the closing burst and, and the flexibility and, and the range. All of that for Wilson is really, really good. Here at the top of your screen, watch him dip under this block and, and shoestring tackle the running back. Get another look here as he comes off the screen. Look at him dip underneath, and he gets a piece of the running back there to assist on that tackle. So he, he does need to do a better job of combating tight ends and, and generating some push, but he does get off the block here and help out uh, tackling against the run. I think when he's kept clean, you'll see it here again in, in one of these reps where he just flows to the football really well. And that instance of, of closing burst is what's really exciting about Wilson. Right there, those one, two, three steps, once he gets eyes on the running back to close, that's the kind of stuff you really like to see. Now here it looks like in good position in the gap he's supposed to be in. I think at the very least it looks like he was flowing to the gap to to make a play. And, and when he's in positioning like that, deliver some stopping power on the running back. Same thing here against against Notre Dame where you know he's flowing downhill against the run, sees that the run is, is going to get to the perimeter. He does a good job staying free of contact and then closing to make a play. Again, you're going to see a lot of it. But that's the point, right? So this pursuit from the back side of the play, right? He's kept clean. And watch him finish this with some impressive closing bursts. And again, reliable tackling ability. That's something that's, you know, really, really important uh, at linebacker, right? You need to be able to do that, that kind of thing. And he'll take on collisions like this against Clemson. Is that the best way to take on collisions there? No, but as long as he's occupying space and... He's not giving up too much ground. He's doing his job there of taking on the, the offensive linemen so his teammates can make plays. I'm good with that type of thing. Here, another one where, again, he's getting into his gap as, as the end man on this play against Duke. And watch him plant, change direction, and then that just explosive burst there to close space quickly and wrap up for a very minimal gain. Once again, from the backside of the run against Duke, weave through traffic, close and limit that to to a pretty minimal gain there same thing here where he's in the gap gets eyes on the running back sees that okay running back's probably going to try and bounce this out 
watch him close space extremely quickly. Like running back had room out here. He had room. It was two on two out there. If Wilson doesn't get to him, like just the, the, the closing burst is impressive. And now you see here, I think is a really nice example of his chase down skill set. You know, after someone's making a catch in the intermediate portion of the field, like watch this chase down speed from Wilson. Tell me that might not be combine speed that right there that he ran. I think it's very possible. And, and so I think again, the hustle, right? Quarterback's going to scramble. We're taking, you know, a great angle and, and we're closing impressive, make a play like that. Like to be able to chase down scrambling quarterbacks, that's going to be probably a part of the job description, right? And so to see him do that very, very easily at the collegiate level tells me that he could potentially do that very well at the pro level too. Here he buzzes to the flap and flies downhill in a hurry to make a tackle, right? So that, that change of direction, that closing burst, the ability to you know, get in one part of the play, right? You do, okay, this is my responsibility against the pass, but then understanding, okay, you see a run play, you, you get to your run fit as well. I, I really, really like that from him. Same thing here where, you know, dropping into coverage, he was a reliable tackler in, in 2023, and you see the shoestring play there on the running back. He gets opportunistic as well. You, you see that for sure, like, you know, is this the most impressive interception? No, but he takes advantage of a tipped ball in the air to make a play. And we like to see that kind of stuff. So how about rushing the pass or being a blitzer? Like linebackers are going to be asked to do that, right? Some schemes are more aggressive than others. This is a nice inside move, creates some pressure. He doesn't get, you know, the potential sack opportunity there. Quarterback gets the ball away, but a really, really strong job here. He stays tight to his line again on this blitz. And really impressive closing burst there to get to get to the quarterback. Doesn't quite wrap him up on time. Quarterback gets the ball away. One on one against a tight end. Nice, nice chop with the arm there. Really nice. And then dips and rips through contact. You know, that's kind of that's this is some some edge rusher type stuff there on, on that rush move against the tight end. Closes for the sack. Same thing here at the bottom of your screen. One on one with the tight end. Tight end opens up too early with the shoulders. Easy swipe and rip underneath, and then closing speed to get to Drake May. Now, for coverage, I, I think there's a lot to like as well. Here, he's again in his same kind of jack linebacker spot where got to carry the running back on this wheel route. And again, does a nice job staying in the hip pocket, right? Does a quick speed turn and and does a really nice job there. Now, bread and butter, his feel and coverage. You can tell he has a great idea of where, where players are going, how concepts are developing, where he needs to be. This is a really nice one where, again, gets his eyes on the crosser first, but sees the tight end working into his area, close quickly, disrupt the catch point, nice pass breakup by Wilson. Here is a really nice one. This is nice. He he turns his shoulders. He's opening up, seeing, okay, got two, two receivers on this side. Where am I going to be? Deeper route, clearly going to this, you know, three deep safety look. So he says, okay, I need to occupy this space here. For, for this receiver, you know, be in a good spot in, in, in spot drop coverage. Again, opening up the shoulders, got a two man uh, a concept on this side. Initially dives to this little hitch route, but a good job recognizing, okay, corner's going to take care of that. I need to get back and muck up this window and the intermediate route does so perfectly. Quarterback was going there for sure. And now he panics gets and doesn't get a chance to be in a scramble mode get sacked so that was a big play there by Wilson good feel and coverage same thing again getting your eyes on you know your responsibility the route concept at the top of your screen take a peek back at Drake May what's May going to be doing and good recognition too okay I sink into the space here on this seam route to the point where May has to tuck this he was going to throw the seam route Wilson gets into a good position to to force May to hesitate and now he gets into scramble mode so really, really nice job in coverage by Peyton Wilson. I think that's really underrated uh, in his game. You definitely see all that blitzing stuff and, and the range and all that speed, but those type of coverage instincts are really, really good. Now, some of the weaknesses, I, I think, you know, arriving at contact in a position with a wide base like this is not good. Got to get better at that because he does get driven off the ball. And if he can sit and leverage right there, that's a big win, I think, for the defense. Another thing with Wilson is if he's going to try to be the guy who can who can also dip around blocks, you have to get a little bit lower here. You got to get in better position because guys are going to be able to you know kind of drive you off your spot if you're not 
perfectly technically sound doing so in that technique. It's a tough one to master, especially at the NFL level. Again, similar thing here where I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to get around a block and make a play. But in this scenario, it's much better for him to just get some extension with his arms, sit in leverage, get off the block, and then go either way that he needs to to close and make a play. Because the instant he jumps outside here, running back has a big cutback lane. Again, just something that that with more reps engaging with, with blockers rather than trying to get around them, and I think you're going to be, I think, really pleased with how he can do. Can't be losing to the to the tight end on, on the edge here. W would love to see him be able to hold his ground, but I think he does a nice job getting a piece here uh, of, of the running back and, and helps trip him up. So that was you know, pretty impressive there. Again, he's in a good spot here in his gap. I do think... This linebacker is supposed to be outside, so this guy can flow to the ball and force him to come back inside. But would obviously love to see him at least hold his ground rather than just getting to a spot. So again, some positive, some negative with that rep uh, against Clemson. Now, what, what he can't do, though, at linebackers get get lost, right? He, he's expecting the running back to kind of, I think, follow his blockers here, and he bounces outside. Wilson does not see it until too late. Got to be careful with... with Losing sight of the running back, losing sight of where your gap needs to be, especially here. Right? He understands the concept. He knows where the run's going. The problem is, is he overruns this too far. Gives the running back an option to bounce it back to the other side of the field. And he gets a, a bigger game because Wilson is not there in the gap he should be. Again, the, the eye candy. Right? Causing him a little bit of trouble on this play too. Right? He's got eyes on the running back. He's going to flow with the running back, assuming it's run. And they throw, throw a screen back the other direction. So again, just improving your eye discipline there, I think is a big deal. And then lastly, he's good as a blitzer when he's on the edge. And, and you saw him do a nice job in an earlier rep in this, in this video. But I do think there are plenty of times where this happens, where he's just trying to run through guys and he kind of gets stuck. And the initial like surge of, of that explosion to power doesn't really generate too much effect. So Peyton Wilson does a lot of things well, right? You you see the speed, the closing burst, you see coverage instincts, which are which is really really important at the linebacker position. I just think there are things technically in terms of taking on blocks that he needs to improve. Obviously, you can see sometimes, you know, with, with eye discipline, that's a little bit of a struggle there. But but I do think like he is firmly in contention as one of the top linebackers in the 2024 NFL draft. Just have to fine tune some things at the next level, and I think he can be pretty impactful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Peyton Wilson. If you did, throw a like on there, subscribe if you're new. Plenty more content on the way before the draft. Got a live show for the draft Thursday and Friday, and plenty more content post-draft with that analysis. So hope you guys stick around for that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.